So the YouTube algorithm recently recommended me a video of Captain Sparkles playing Terraria. Now, if you don't know, Captain Sparkles is a small Minecraft YouTuber. You might have heard of him. But about two weeks ago, he decided to start a brand new Terraria playthrough. And of course, you guys know as a fellow Terraria player, we always love seeing new people get into the game. So I decided to take a look. And wow, I saw no, some no, interesting no. stuff. Not bad stuff, of course. It's just interesting, you know, seeing like, wow, I never thought about that. But I understand why a new player would think like that. But yeah, I'm going to be watching all the current episodes he posted on his channel. I believe there's about 10 of the last episode currently being with Chippy. And of course, make sure to check out his playthrough on his second channel or on his Twitch. While this all happens, of course, I'm going to be eating cheese curls. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Terraria. Terraria. Do I say Terraria? I do say Terraria, right? Do you know the last time that I played Terraria was about probably over 11 years ago? 11 years ago. That is older than me. I've never played it single player, though. Also, don't bully him. I know our community is great. Just don't bully him. We're just watching how Minecraft replaced Terraria. Medium core characters drop items on death. Okay, wait. Will the Minecraft player pick medium core because he thinks it's like Minecraft? I will do classic. Classic hey, hey. sounds like a good way. Oh no, he's playing on large. You know how much of a pain in the ass it is to explore a world on large? Yeah, there's more loot. I think I exclusively for mod playthroughs, I play on small. I do not play medium unless it's like a really large mod like Calamity or like Thorium. I'm gonna make a wooden chest plate and then I gotta figure out where I equip. Is it over here? There Ooh. we go. He put it in his vanity set. Everyone does that. I wonder if chat will tell him. St oh, I, wrong, wrong thing. Oh, okay. Ah, there, there we, we go. go chat. Is that correct? Yeah. I like that you can make some wood armor here. It's kind of awesome. Right? You stupid little slime rabbit. Oh, I had too many cheese girls. Ah, oh, I right, got Doritos. <laughs> All right, we we do be re-racking trees out here. We do be re-racking trees. He's not using smart cursor, so some of the trees are too close, like right here. I forgot what it is, right? It's like if trees are not within, I believe, three, four tiles, they can't be planted. I literally always use smart cursor for this, unless they changed it, in which case I, I might sound stupid. Anyway. Craft some stuff here, probably. Let's go Let's go up to here. Click on our, is it click on our table, or do we just, when we're next to it? Oh. That's crazy. I remember when I first played Terraria, it took me so long to understand how the crafting system worked. I never understood understood that you have to make the station and then you sit right next to it. Not, you don't right click it. You don't anything like that. I remember making an anvil for the first time and I was like, wow, I can make so many things. And then it all disappeared. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Then again, I was like 12 wooden sword. That's a good thing, right? We want that. Let's go. Let's go. We're popping off. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. You think you can? I have not played regular Terraria, normal mode, not expert, not master in so long. It is so trippy seeing someone kill slimes with a wooden sword that quickly. This is going to be epicosity. So he said he played 11 years ago. Makes sense because I think walls are one of the weirdest things to kind of understand when you're first playing Terraria. Like the idea that you're playing a 2D game, but you can put walls behind you and walls count as a background tile, but it's not really the background because there's an actual background to the game, which is like the wallpaper. I'm confusing myself. I want to undo. No, no. A little he doesn't have a hammer. Holes. Is it wood? Like that? That one. Oh, literally just like use the wood and place it down. Oh, I see. Literally just use the wood. Wait, did he think it was wooden planks? I think he thought it was wooden planks. I never thought about that. Minecraft, you chop trees and make wooden planks. I think Captain Sparkles thought the wood walls were wooden planks and that's why he was placed. This is truly fascinating, but I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I would have done the same thing too, bro. This like house is better than mine. When I first played, I had a dirt hut. Is there a bed that I can make? No, wait, no sleep? There's no sleep. Yeah, what? there's no sleep. This man oh, has gonna way a lot of health. Oh, we can do jump crits? What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> okay, they can't break my door. Okay, Harley. Yeah, take refuge in here, bro. Take refuge in here. <laughs> Wait, he in blood the door. Oh, no, Harley, you let him in. You let him, you let Harley, you idiot. Every struggle, man. He's going through it. I hate it when NPCs do that. You do I'm making the pumpkin. No, he lost the wood armor bonus. I get it. There's set bonuses and stuff like that. Oh, no, dude. It's going to be nighttime and I'm going to be far from home. Am I going to get rectified here? Yes, I'm going to get wrecked. Got it. I'm going to run back home now. That's crazy. I, I think literally the only time I go home is when I have a recall potion, magic mirror, or I die. Unless you're playing like hardcore or medium core, there is no reason why you should go home. There's no reason why you should stay safe unless you're trying to like, unless you have a lot of money on you, unless you're playing anything other than classic and soft core, there's no reason to, to go home because exploration is just such a big reward in this game. Is is there like a chest or something that I can make in order to store some items? Oh no, he's gonna find out that to make a chest, you need iron, unlike Minecraft where it's just eight wood. But then to get iron, you have to dig down. How is he gonna dig down? <laughs> 
in a I wonder if we'll do straight down. Oh, you also mine a staircase. Whoa, what is he doing? Oh, what is he doing? Oh, use smart cursor. Oh, that's smart. That's yeah, smart. Yeah, it's right. It's right, bam. Dude, it took me so long to learn about smart cursor. I'm not like on Xbox. You have to hit like you have to hit the analog stick. I don't remember, but painful to watch. But I'm I'm um I'm learning. Hey, yeah, you know. Don't clown him. But why are they clowning him? Oh, wood platforms. Yes, I platforms. See. Okay, every six blocks, and then I can just I see. So mostly straight down, but then like move over a little bit on the way. No! no, 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 no. Very, very steep staircase. Very steep no, staircase. I'm no, no. Who told him that? No. It's so much more faster to just mine straight down and just place platforms either on the way up or on the way down. And if you do want to convert into a elevator, you just mine the platforms, or you just place like water. Actually, no, water doesn't work. But you just mine the platforms. There's no reason why you should. Go down, go over a little bit, go down, go over a little bit just to place platforms. No, who told him that? No. Oh my god, how long does he do this for? Oh, he's making a staircase. A big one concept in Terraria that I just never listen to is going backwards. Like once you venture out to the right, I just try and go as far as possible until I find a recall potion or die. If I go straight down to mine to hell, I keep going until I die. No recall. Which is kind of a bad thing, but it's more time efficient. Nothing wrong with having like a way to like return like a staircase or like just going back before dark, but you hinder so much of your progress because I feel like you assume that there's danger, but there's not really any danger unless you're playing hardcore, medium core. Just dig straight down and use platforms to get back up. Yes. Okay, okay. Mm, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. What are you doing? Doesn't Why'd you move over? I'm surprised he's not getting this tin ore. I would assume that if you were a new player, you would get tin ore. But you shouldn't because it's useless. Oh, is that an iron vein? Oh, no. All right. I spoke too soon. And he got bombs. Some people were telling me that bombs are something that I should be getting. Yes. Throw bomb down the mine. Sure. No, don't sure throw thing. all of them. No, someone tell Sounds him like not to plan. throw all of them. No, you need one for the demolitionist. No, it's going to blow up the health pot. Oh, the health pot's fine. Yep. Wow. I never thought about that. Bombs don't blow up items, whereas TNT and Minecraft do. That's crazy. I'm glad that people in chat are mainly helping it. That's crazy. What is this stuff here? That's iron. Yes. What are you? Iron, dude. Yes. We got iron. Let's go. You guys are saying, don't go in there. I will drown. Although it would be a way to get back up to the surface, you know, if I needed to do that. Smart. Something that definitely throws people off, I think, I, I would assume, is you can't swim in Terraria unless you had flippers. But it's weird because in Minecraft, you can just swim up. Like you, you can build an elevator and swim up with one water block. But Terraria area you can't do that what is this that looks fancy over tungsten there. Ooh, i tung love tungsten i don't know what about it but when it first came out i loved it it's so much fancy. cooler than silver debate me that seems epic mm -hmm. now can i use the furnace yes oh he already figured it out that's awesome dude that took me forever to figure out as a kid oh my god 60 bars to make a full so i need i need 300 i need 300 do you seriously <laughs> To make a full set of armor, you need 60 bars, which is roughly 300 ore. That's actually crazy when you think about it in terms of Minecraft, because in Minecraft, to make a full set of iron armor, you need 25 iron ingots, aka 25 iron ore or raw iron. By the way, the fact that you need to get, how many is it for gold armor? Gold and platinum armor, unless you're playing for the worthy or any of the like special seeds where they increase ore generation, it is not worth it. Unless you're playing a super hard difficulty on master mode with some crazy mods, there is no point in getting gold or platinum armor because it takes so much time yeah they give you so much defense but dude especially without ore excavator oh my goodness seriously i need to go deep in the mines i feel like i'm pretty deep but i get oh he is not deep you can tell by the background that he is in is it the underground layer and then he's not even he hasn't even hit the cavern layer and then the cavern layer is like three times the size of the underground layer next episode i have now learned well actually i learned it when i took the thumbnail screenshot but i've learned that when you go back into your world you end up um yep. back above ground at your spawn I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you can venture out and then just leave the game and join back. I completely forgot about that. You don't actually have to kill yourself. Sorry. So if we ever need to get out of the cave, I guess we can. Yeah, see, he, he understands like that. There's not a lot of like fear and exploration because you could just literally reset your where you are. You can leave the game, recall, magic mirror, die. OK, well, yeah. Why do I have a oh, I need to make a minecart and ride on the track. No, you don't. You can ride it. And I don't know why you can ride it without a minecart. It makes no sense, but I'm glad they added it because I believe you can craft the iron minecart. But why would you craft an iron? Why would you craft any minecart if you could just ride the minecart without a minecart? Does that make any sense? 
Um, I could, in theory, do a new world, a new expert world or something. It leaves room to expand in the event that, that people like watching Terraria. So it's yes, that is so true. Because your inventory isn't tied to one world and it's rather tied to characters, you can make infinite worlds and basically have infinite loot. And with that being said, you can technically go straight into expert mode with a pre-generated and pre-equipped classic mode character which is definitely something i don't think about anymore but it was definitely something that i really loved about the game when it first came out like wow you can bring your character of all this loot to your friend's world who might not even be as strong as you and you could help them out it is so cool that you can do that put down the freaking thing Smart Why no cursor, torch go down? Smart cursor, smart cursor. Use My torches smart won't cursor. place. They won't place because of the stupid minecart thing. I literally never place torches with the default cursor. I always place it with smart cursor. It is so much better. It's usually automatically spaced out too. I want to see what happens when I go the other way. I like how I just accelerated uphill. I don't know. I never thought about that. <laughs> what's the other? What's in the other direction here, bro? Whoa, whoa. Hard crystal. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Whoa, dude, I just got an extra heart. Mm -hmm. I love the taste of rocks in the evening. This rocks, dude. <laughs> what the I need to make more dad jokes. I am epic. He's actually getting all the ore. So that is crazy. I do not have the patience to do that anymore. Most of the time when I fight Aya Cthulhu or King Slime, I have no armor or I just have cactus armor. Also, if you beat King Slime, you get access to ninja armor, which is a good armor substitute. And also, if you beat Aya Cthulhu, which is a relatively simple battle, if you know, just go left and forth and you have Hermes boots, you get to shoot the Cthulhu, which gives you some defense and also a dash. Dude, I wonder how fast I could be like a classic mode run. Because now that I think about it, like you can do a lot of crazy things in class without dying immediately oh my god look at this look at this gear okay please what's craft the, the play what platinum is the pickaxe. play here if chat doesn't say platinum pickaxe i will i will oh my gosh i think he should make a platinum pickaxe with the 20 platinum a little bit of tungsten armor with the rest unless you want to make a, a tungsten bow tungsten bow is pretty good and then with the rest of the iron you can make supplementary iron armor i would i would rather just hold on to it because you don't really need that much so platinum pickaxe okay yes we out here dude we yes. are out here 100 percent tungsten bow. bow how much does that cost seven do it do it do it platinum bow you can't make a plat. Wait, can you make a platinum bow? No, right? You need eleven. There's so item? much crazy. Oh, you can dude. make a platinum bow. Platinum bow. Should I do? You think plat bow? Yes. Plat bow. All right. Oh my god, this is gonna be insane, dude. Let is there really a reason to use a tungsten broadsword or even a platinum broadsword if you have a platinum bow? Because I would assume they would have similar damage capacity. I think the platinum bow is 14 damage. Maybe the speed is a little lower. I don't think there's a reason to really use an, a platinum broadsword. I, I mean, then again, the melee got reworked. I don't think there's any reason to use any of the like regular ore swords when you could just make the bow, which number one, you could buy and craft a lot of arrows. And number two, it's range. And number three, the damage capacity is pretty similar. Unless you're constantly in close quarters, which you shouldn't really be unless you're crazy and you have a lot of defense now we're freaking in he crafted an iron axe i actually never craft an axe upgrade like unless i really really want to chop down wood which i typically don't do because i use bombs to get wood the next axe i get is like the pickaxe axe i'm not gonna lie all right episode three hi everybody how many well, episodes does he have right now i think he, i said 11 right i don't think i can get through all of them today that's like yeah here's 11 and 11 is when her chippy joins oh i want to watch that episode let me throw out my trash bro ah! Smart oh, cursor shoot. is amazing. I, did a, I didn't mean to do that one. Oh, he, he got a hammer. Get rid of the, Who told him to get a hammer? Here. Good job. Okay, so Crimson. Wow, Tungsten Bratzer is pretty I, good in pre hard mode. Oh, Ooh, he like found a, a pyramid. Ooh. He was like a screenshot, isn't he? On. We got a. We got a bit of an F11 moment right here. A little bit of. You a. can do that with the HUD? You can no, do. It's what? So frustrating. Oh my gosh, you got a sandstorm in a bottle, best Mind drop. Did he get ward? Is it warding? Oh, medicine. medicine. I was about to say, warding is crazy. That's so sick. Whoa! He has so much mobility now. I don't even want to use a recall potion. I just want to. I feel like once your mobility in Terraria starts getting like, whoa, you can double jump. Whoa, you can fly. Whoa, you can run really fast. Whoa, you can grappling hook. That's when it's like, wow, this is really fun. And then from there, you get wings, you get a jetpack, you get a. <laughs> You get a starboard. All right, episode four. Oh, the corruption spread for him. I mean, the crimson spread go. for him. Uh, yeah, the crimson is spreading. <laughs> oh, he's going in the crimson cave. Dude, I remember the first time I went down the cave, I would slowly go and place a torch, like what he's doing right now. Dude, now I just run straight in, bro. I just throw a glow stick and I just go hop in. If I have no glow stick, I just swing my sword, torch. Swing my sword, torch. Bombs away. <laughs> <laughs>
I thought that the only way to like mine crimson or corruption blocks was using bombs. I remember I watched, I forgot who I watched, but someone used purification powder to turn the blocks into regular stone and mine through. I don't remember where I saw it from for the first time. That blew my mind. Ew. It is crazy how much ore he's mining. I've been skipping through whenever he mines ores. But Captain Sparkles has been mining through every ore. And I mean, every single ore vein he mines it would just, like even in Minecraft, I don't do that. I see iron, I'm like, uh, has he uh, even been using the, the oh, tin, tin for anything? Now? Unless you're so Oh, they just said it. Dude, that's well, crazy. Episode 5. I gotta pee. I gotta do that. <laughs> Hi. Actually, after I went to the bathroom, I knocked out and went to sleep. I actually don't really remember. But yeah, right now, I think the video would be too long if I would just, you know, react to every single episode. So I think you guys should just go watch his series on his channel and you know give us some support you know show how awesome we are to our community because i only got to episode five and there's right now 12 episodes so that's another seven hours of footage which might double or triple the length of this video plus i feel really weird re making reaction content yeah but anyway yeah go show some support for captain sparkles and his series and thank you for watching this video and also don't forget to drink some water